Pashojmë takimin në fokus këtu në interaktiv në KTV, ndeshen e parë të komtare së Kosovës në futbol, që pritë të luat më 5 mars në Mitrovic, dhe që për kundre shartë do të kemi naturisht komtaren e largët të Haitit. Dhe pikrisht do të bëjmë një intervist speciale me një futbolist Haitit, që do tjetë më 5 mars në Kosovë. Ajo është Fabian Vorb dhe është mene në këtë linje nga Miami, shtetet të bashkorat e Amerikës. Hai, Fabian, and thank you very much for talking to KTV. Uh, hello, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, can you please uh, first tell us something about you uh, so the, the people know you? Uh, where do you play and what's your position actually uh, in football? All right, uh, my name is Fabian Vorb. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I was born January 4th, 1990. Uh, I'm a center midfielder. I also play in defense. And right now I'm playing my football in, in Sweden. Uh, how has your career been so far? Uh, so far, it's, I can't complain. Um, I, it started off well. I went uh, to the World Cup under 17 with, with the U17 national team in Korea in 2007. And then after that, uh, I spent a short stint uh, at university in the U.S. where I played college soccer in Division One. And then I played three years there. And then from there, I went, to, I went on to play in, in Canada at FC Edmonton. And I... I got back to the national team and started playing with the, with the senior national team. So, so far it's going, it's going well. Uh, I'm still young, I'm still learning, and I, I hope that it will continue moving forward. Uh, so, obviously, we, we want to talk uh, about you with, uh, for Kosovo Haiti game. Uh, how are, excited are you to be playing? Because I read that you are now back. You haven't been uh, for a while with the Haiti senior team, and you're going to be back. It's going to be your first... I'm very, very excited. Uh, like you said, uh, me and the, and the after after my last cap, which was uh, a few years back, uh, me and the national team we uh, we had uh, we had some troubles with the federation and between me and the uh, president of the federation and everything, and uh, they had a new a new staff that came in a French staff, and uh, we were able to put our, our differences behind us, which I'm very happy that we were able to do because it's always an honor to play to play for for my country, and I'm still young, so I feel like I, I could I could really help them. And they could really help me too with my career. So it's good that, that I'm back with them. And I'm very, very excited to, to have my first game back against, against, against Kosovo. Because as you know, it's a, it's a historic game for you guys. And I'm, I'm so happy that I'll be able to take part in it. What do you know, actually? Have you heard before about Kosovo? Before oh, this yeah. Game? Uh, even when I was in school, I heard about, about the wars that they used to have in Kosovo with the, with, with the area, with Serbia, with everything. And uh, I knew that you guys had gotten you got your independence and wasn't aware about the, the soccer situation. But as soon as I, I heard the, the area of Kosovo, I knew it was a, always a troubled area and, and a tough area for you guys. And now that you guys will be able to have your own soccer team and play under the FIFA banner and everything, it's, it's a very big deal. And I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm very proud and very anxious to, to come to Kosovo and, and, see, and see you guys firsthand. Do you know any Kosovo Albanian players? Have you heard about them playing in, in big oh, for teams? Sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, how could you not know about, about Januzaj with everything he's doing over in, in Manchester United? Uh, I made a little research and I realized that even uh, you guys had some more uh, Kosovo-born players or the area-born players like uh, Berami for, for Napoli, uh, for Shakiri for, for um, Bayern Munich and everything. So I knew that the, that area with the old Yugoslavia too, with Serbia having having Great players like uh, Ivanovic, uh, Matic, you know. Actually, we want to know about Haiti, about your country, uh, about your national team. Uh, what's your biggest achievement, let's say? Oh, well, in 1974, which is, I know it's a, a while back, but uh, that was our first and only appearance at the, at the Major World Cup. It was in Germany, if, if my memory serves me right. And uh, after that, the last big event that we went to I, on the world stage was, was actually with my team when we made it to, to the, to the under-17s World Cup in Korea and we qualified first in, in CONCACAF. And then since then, we, we, we participated in, in a few Gold Cups for the CONCACAF area and everything, but nothing, nothing major. But uh, we, we, we've been having good success with our players right now. There's, there's a number of our players that are playing abroad, either in the States, in the MLS, or, or in leagues in Europe. And uh, soccer is, is becoming to, to do be is starting to do better in Haiti, and uh, I feel like the federation is really trying to push us. And uh, there's a new staff, a French staff, like I said, that got here 
got appointed uh, in January, and they seem to know what they're doing. So, so it, it looks good for the national team. So, who are the other guys of your of your national team? You said some of them play in U.S., right, and some others in Europe. Yes, uh, there is some of them that play in U.S. in, in Kansas City. There's two of them actually who played were my, were, are, are my generation. They played they played on the 17s World Cup with me. There's Peterson Joseph and there's Michel Jerome that both uh, were on my team at, at the World Cup. There's a couple others that, that play and there's one that played in Romania, Alsena, Jansonia Alsena. There's one that plays in France actually that's doing really well, Jeff Louis. Uh, there's Bill Fork Evans that's, that's in France actually too. There's another one that recently moved from in the summer from, from Haiti to, to Wisla Krakowia. He's a left back, Dona Aguirre. So, so I think soccer is starting to, to do well with, with our players and, and that's a good thing. Uh, here most of the people probably heard about Haiti when the devastating, devastating earthquake happened actually. Uh, what do you want people here to know about Haiti, about your country? Oh yeah, well definitely. We were, we were, we were struck hard by, by that earthquake but one thing that people, people, that images don't show and then people do not really know usually is that the Haitian peoples are very, are very resilient, you know? And uh, obviously we were knocked, knocked real hard onto the ground with, with, uh, with the earthquake. But uh, we're standing up right now we, we, with a lot of help from, from the international uh, countries and, and from, from a lot of international organizations. Um, we're rebuilding and, and you know, Haiti, Haiti is, is now a big tourist attraction. We're starting to try and make it become attractive like it used to be in, in the past. And uh, there's a lot of beautiful beaches down there. You know, it's, it's not all about, uh, you know, poverty and, and war. It's not all about that. And uh, I think this is the most important thing that people that are not from Haiti need to know about Haiti. It's a, it's a good place to come. It's a good place to visit. It's sunny all year, all year long. So, so, yeah, it's nice. You should call us back to come and play Haiti there. I know, I know. That, that would be great. If, if you guys can make a, an arrangement with the Federation to, to come to Haiti, we'd love to have you guys there and, and show you guys that, how it is. Thank you. What do you think about the game? Like, do you really want to win it? Or uh, maybe we will win it because it's our first game. Well, <laughs> well obviously, uh, as, a, as, a, as a footballer, you go, you go into every game wanting to obviously uh, win the game, whether it's a friendly, you know, whether, uh, no matter the occasion. But I think in the big picture, it's, it's more about having, having a great game, having a beautiful game. And uh, the event, it's going to be an historic event for you guys, for us too, because we're taking part in it. And we want to be able to give the, the people that, that come to the game and the people that, that are watching the game, we want to, to have them enjoy soccer and for them to, to see how Kosovo players are, 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 how blessed they are playing soccer and, and how good we are too, us Haitians. So it's going to be a great showcase for both of us, and I, I hope we're able to, to put a good show. Uh, you are all welcome here in Kosovo, guys. I thank you very much, Fabian, for talking to KTV. Thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to getting to Kosovo. See you, see you there.